and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds. Today, I'm going to be reacting to your bird cage setups. So you guys sent me your bird cage setups on Instagram. Hi, Pro. I'm really, really sorry if yours is not included. I'm not doing everyone's because I don't want this video to be super, super long. Everyone who sent in their cage setups is looking for advice. All right, I'm just gonna be randomly selecting some of these cages. And throughout this video, these guys are gonna help me, right? All right, so the first one says that it's going to house a Red Factor Sun Conure, absolutely gorgeous bird. So I really love the toys on top of this cage, especially the one in the middle. I've had that toy, my birds love it, especially Kermit. So you said that there's three perches in this cage, one rope, one natural wood, and one that files their nails and beak. What I would recommend is maybe adding one more natural perch because I see room for more perches in this cage, definitely. And natural wood perches are really good for your bird's feet because they have a lot of variation in the texture and the size and they always have different widths along the perch. I also see the toilet paper tube on top, which is really good. Those are really cheap and a lot of birds like playing with those. Inside of the cage, I see that there's three toys. Those seem like good toys. I don't really see the third one too well, but the one in the middle seems like one of those basket foraging toys and I absolutely love those. I also really like the ladder that you have on the side of the cage. I have that ladder in Bluebell's cage and those ladders are really fun because they have stuff for the birds to chew on. I would recommend adding a few more toys inside the cage just to give your bird more variety and see what your bird likes. Overall, I'd have to say this is a pretty nice cage setup, so good job. So the next cage has two adorable little budgies. And I am absolutely loving that these budgies are in a flight cage. This is a perfect size cage for those birds. And I just love this setup overall. I love the big toy in the middle. It looks like it's really fun for them. It's got finger traps, which are really great for foraging. All of these perches are natural wood, which is exactly what we want. I love that. You've got a platform perch in the back, which I always recommend because it lets their feet rest. All of my birds have at least one platform perch in their cage. And I'm just loving that you have lots of enriching toys in here. I like the ladder as well because it gives your birds something to climb. If I were to give one suggestion, it would be to take out that green hanging millet holder in the cage. And millet is just fine for birds. I do use it for mine but it's much better as a treat for more of training purposes. And I don't hang millet inside of my bird's cages because it can be fatty and your bird can overeat it. And it's really good as a reward. Most birds absolutely love it. So it's just better if you use it for training and for outside the cage. But overall, I love this setup. It's a really, really great cage. You've got nice toys in there. I love flight cages. So the next cage setup is for a cockatiel. Aw, it's a Lutino just like Ducky. I see that there's three toys in this cage and all three of the toys are sort of plastic toys. Now plastic toys are fine, some birds do enjoy them, but I would really recommend adding some more shredding toys made out of natural materials that your bird can pick apart and make a mess with. And those really encourage the natural behavior that parrots chew a lot. There is also a wooden toy in the cage, which I did miss in the first picture, but I would recommend adding some more paper shredding toys. Oh, you say you're getting new toys. That's great, that's exactly what I just recommended. That's awesome. So I noticed that there's three perches in this cage and all three perches are kind of low. I definitely recommend placing them higher, at least two of them up high, because birds do feel safer and more secure when they're higher up. They enjoy being higher up in the cage and it'll also give them better access to those three toys because those toys are higher up. So placing a perch right underneath the toys will allow the bird to play with the toys more easily. Two of these three perches are dowel perches. It's okay if you use one as long as you use lots and lots of other kinds of perches. But given that you only have one other natural perch in the cage, I definitely take out those dowels and replace them both with natural wood perches. Kermit's in my hair. If you see my hair moving, it's because he's there. So the next cage is for an adorable little budgie. The measurements of this cage are 24 by 13 by 20 inches. And there is also a homemade playground, which I love. I love including play gyms of some sort in your bird setup. It just gives them stuff to do when they are hanging out with you. I like that your cage is wider rather than taller because birds fly from side to side. 
I am loving that you have a bird kebab in your setup because budgies go crazy for those kebabs. They are one of my budgies' favorite toys. Bluebell, she destroys them in like two days. It looks like all of your perches are natural wood, which is awesome. I am really liking that you've got this kind of activity perch. I've seen those before. I have not tried them, but they have crinkle paper. It's both a perch and a toy. I like that coconut toy in the back. Looking at the food bowl, I see that there's only seeds in there. Now, I don't know what kind of diet your bird came on, but you don't want to feed your bird an all seed diet. Your bird might be in the process of converting, which is completely fine, but if you only feed your bird seeds, that is not healthy for your bird. All seed diets can cause your bird to become overweight and it can cause fatty liver disease, so you really want to avoid that. But again, your bird might be in the process of converting onto a healthier diet and you might be trying really hard to get your bird to eat vegetables and pellets. So I'm not saying that you feed your bird only seeds. What I would do is I would add some more different types of wood in there. It looks like there's only one type of natural wood perch. And that would just give your bird more variety so their feet are in different positions constantly. You know, some woods have the bark on them, some don't. It says right here that the cage is not as big as you'd like it, but your bird is rarely caged during the day. So that is completely fine. I think the size is fine as long as your bird is out most of the day. If your bird was in the cage for longer periods of time, I would recommend a flight cage, but that cage looks completely fine for your purpose. Okay, the next one says that you are getting a Lutino cockatiel and you're gonna name it Ducky. So this cage looks like a preview 18 by 18 inch cage. This cage is definitely way taller than it is wide and for a cockatiel, I recommend a cage that's 24 inches wide because they do have very long wings. But it says that you're going to get a new cage and upgrade it eventually, so that is awesome. In terms of what's inside this cage, I love that you have natural wood perches and a platform perch. I love that you don't use the dowels. I like the ladder at the bottom as well, but I would definitely recommend placing more toys in there, especially ones that your bird can shred. So maybe toys made of paper or palm leaves, seagrass, or some softer wood, because shredding is a very natural behavior for birds. I see that there is a mirror toy in the back. Now mirrors can cause your bird to be hormonal, but it really depends on the bird. If you do notice though that your bird is becoming aggressive towards their mirror or they're not leaving their mirror, then I would recommend taking it out. So the next cage is for an African Grey. Now this is a nice size cage for an African Grey. I like that there's a mix of natural wood and rope perches. Now rope perches can be a problem for some birds because some birds like to chew on them, but as long as your bird is not ripping them up and you know getting lots of loose threads on the rope perches, then I think rope perches are fine and they're very comfortable for your bird's feet. I see this really big rope toy in there that I see that your bird probably likes to chew. Now, some people keep those in, some don't. I personally would not have that in the cage. You know, I would take that out because there is a risk of your bird getting caught on that. So I would maybe take that out and add more of a shredding toy, a chewing toy, or a foraging toy. I see that you have one of those veggie kebabs in there that your bird ate, which is awesome. That is a really fun way to give your bird vegetables. It can turn it into a foraging activity. I would just add a few more toys in there for your bird to chew on, toys that your bird can forage with, you know, some of those bigger plastic toys for an African Grey. Overall, I do really like this setup. The next cage has a cute little female Grey Cockatiel. You've got a long rope perch, a natural wood perch, and a dowel. Now, personally, I would take the dowel out just because I don't like having something that's so smooth and straight. You say that your bird is out with you most of the day, which is awesome because if your bird was in this cage for long periods of time, I would recommend a larger cage. This cage is a little small if your bird's gonna spend, you know, more time in there. I go to school, so my cages are very big. I like the shoelace toy in your bird's cage. My birds love those. I had one and I put it on the play gym. They all love playing with that, so that's a really great toy. I would add some more shredding toys. I would add some foraging toys in there, like a basket toy or a little paper finger traps. All right, so this setup is for four budgies. The smaller cage is just a travel cage, which is good, and the larger cage is only used at night. I really like all of these hanging boings. I have a lot of boings in my bird room. My birds love them. They're great exercise. Your bird can climb on them. 
So this cage is only for sleeping, which is great because for four budgies, I would definitely have a flight cage. I really like that you have this sort of box type foraging toy in there with the tissue paper that they can pull out. That's one of my bird's favorite toys. It looks like they're really enjoying it. It looks like they're pulling out the tissue paper. It's a really great toy. I see that you've got more goings inside the cage and you have a natural wood perch and there's one dowel in there. Since you have other perches, I don't think the dowel is going to cause a problem. I personally would add another natural perch in there just for variety because your birds are gonna be sleeping on those perches. I see that you've got this basket toy on the outside of the cage. That's another really awesome toy. I think you've really got a great setup in there and your birds look very happy. So this next setup is for two green sheet conures and I absolutely love this setup. It's clear that you've put in a ton of effort into making an enriching environment for your birds. I love all the stuff on the ceiling. I actually want to do a lot more of that in my bird room. I love that flight cage. It's a perfect size. I mean, you've got everything here. You're really not missing anything. You've got lots of different types of perches in there. You've got platform, you've got rope, you've got natural wood, you've got some stainless steel bowls. The one thing that I do see about this setup, now this is an amazing setup, but I do see happy huts inside this cage. Now happy huts cause a lot of problems. So one, they can make your birds hormonal because they view it as a nest. So automatically you wanna take out anything that resembles a hut. But aside from that, they're actually very, very dangerous for your birds because this fuzzy material, it's very easy for your bird to ingest it and then that can cause an impaction. And your bird can also get caught in it. I've just heard a lot of horror stories with these huts. You just, you really wanna take those out of your cage even if your bird really loves them. There are safe alternatives to these huts. You can buy seagrass huts, but even then I am not a fan of any kind of hut in your cage because it can be a nesting site for these birds. Otherwise, it's a really, really awesome setup. So over here we have another really awesome setup. This is for a green sheet conure. It says the dimensions are 31 by 20.5 by 40 inches, not including the stand. Perfect size flight cage. The setup looks amazing. I can't find anything wrong with it. I love all the toys in there. You've got the shoelace toy. You've got Planet Pleasures, which is one of my favorite toy brands. You've got all natural wood and rope perches in there and no dowels. I see there's also the safety pumice perch, which is a perch for trimming your bird's nails. And it's smooth on top and rough on the sides. I do really like those if you're going to have a perch that trims your bird's nails. And I see that there's lots of different types of natural wood as well. And you've even got my favorite, which is the bottle brush perch. I'm just loving this setup. There is nothing wrong with it. All right, so this next cage is for a cockatiel. And the first thing I'd like to say is that I would recommend a larger cage just because you do say that you haven't been able to spend much time with her. Now that cage would be okay if you just use it at night for sleeping in, but it's not an appropriate cage if you're you know, away at school or spend time away from home and you are not able to spend most of the day with your bird. That just isn't that much space. I'd really recommend getting a cage at least 24 inches wide so she has enough space to play and you can fit lots of toys in there. As far as what's inside this cage, I'd really recommend that you have more toys in there because you are gonna be away for longer periods of time. You know, birds do need things to keep them occupied. They're very intelligent. I definitely put more shredding toys in there and foraging toys to keep your bird busy. I would also add some more perches. It looks like there is an entire middle section of your cage that doesn't have perches. So I would definitely add perches as well as some toys on the side of the cage. They don't just have to hang from the top. The next cage is for two budgies that are named Kermit and Pearl, which is absolutely adorable. I like the play gym on top. I see that you have a platform perch and I do really like those because they give your bird's feet a rest. I see that you've got a swing in there and budgies really do tend to love swings. I do see a happy hut in your bird's cage and I am not a fan of those for all those reasons. They can make your bird hormonal, they can cause blockages. So I would recommend taking that out of your cage. I would definitely add some more toys that your budgies can shred. 
I do see that you're using dowel perches in there along with other perches, but mostly dowels. I would take those out and replace them with natural wood perches because natural wood perches have variation in texture for your bird's feet. If your bird is sitting on dowels for too long, it can cause pressure sores, bumble foot, and arthritis because the surface is very smooth, slippery, and does not change. This next cage is for a Quaker parrot, and I am really, really liking this setup. I see that you've got a lot of Java wood perches, and I really like those because they have a lot of twists and turns and lots of variation for your bird's feet. I see that you've got rope perches, you've got a lot of toys in there. I like that swing up there with all the different blocks and fun toys for them to chew on. I also see a platform perch, which I really love. This cage is a really nice size. It is tall, but it's also wide, and it looks like a really, really nice setup. I don't see anything wrong with this. And it says that you've only had your Quaker since the weekend, so I think you're doing a really, really great job with this cage setup. So this cage is for a cockatiel. It's, it's very small. This cage is way too small. I definitely recommend a larger cage. Um, you know, I, I understand that not everyone's able to afford a larger cage, but pretty much anything would be better than this cage at this point. I have seen these before in PetSmart. It's just not a suitable cage. I see that the only perches that are in there are plastic perches. Those are really not good for your bird's feet. They can cause arthritis and bumblefoot and pressure sores. I see that you've got a whole thing of sunflower seeds as well as a seed mix with more sunflower seeds. Those are very unhealthy foods. There's also no toys in this cage and it says that there's no bird toys in your pet store and there's only one pet store. So I definitely recommend buying some toys online. There's lots and lots of things that you can buy online for your birds, including a larger cage and perches and toys. Um, this cage would be as suitable as a travel cage only. So this is going to be the last cage for today. This cage is for a cute little budgie. And it says, the reason why it's a small cage is that we love engaging with our birds, so he only goes there to eat and sleep, while 80% of the time he is playing with his loving family members all around the house. And that is really good to hear. So yes, I do agree that this cage is a bit small, but it's okay if your bird is just sleeping in it. But I do notice that it's a hanging cage and I don't recommend hanging cages just because birds like to be stable and every time your bird jumps or shifts weight, the cage could rock and that's just not very comfortable for your bird. So I would definitely recommend placing the cage on a table. Hi, Pearl. And even though your bird does not spend that much time in the cage, I would recommend just placing a couple of toys in there just when the bird is in the cage in case your bird gets bored, you want your bird to have something to do. So that was pretty much it for today's video. I really enjoyed seeing your cage setups. I will definitely be doing more of these. I can't wait to see more of your cages. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.